So let's create that pumping synth pad sound that is so commonly heard in electronic dance music these days. I'm going to load a new MT session in Logic Pro, create a software instrument track, and I'll load a loop. I'll use this World Traveler pad. And just drag it in. It's a bit short, so I'll extend out the MIDI notes in the piano roll editor so it's exactly four measures long. Let's loop it and have a listen. Okay, that works. Now I need a kick drum. I'm going to load this free sample I found on loopbot.com. I'm just going to drag it in. I'll option drag to make copies of the region. I want it to be double that tempo, so I'll just select all and option drag and place it there. Okay, that works. Now I have to load a compressor on this pad track. This one already has a compressor loaded in, so I just have to enable it. The other option is to just load one in from this menu over here. Now for this compressor to react to the kick drum, we need to choose the kick drum track in the side chain drop down menu. Okay, now let's increase the compressor's ratio and you'll hear the synth pad start to pump every time the kick hits. It's starting to clip so I'll just bring this kick down a bit. In fact, we can actually turn down the kick completely and the pumping will still happen as the compressor is still listening to the sidechain input, which is the kick. So that's how to create that pumping synth sound in Logic Pro.